his mind. By faith, Abraham. Abraham's daddy used to make idols. Amen. That is where income came from. For his the, the guy's father was loaded of money. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now God is coming to say to Abraham, mm -hmm. I want you to leave Houston. Mm -hmm. yeah. Leave Sugarland Houston. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, yeah. my wife and I were down in Sinko Ranch. All right. First up. Yeah. All right. I said there are some things that are different in Sinko Ranch. Uh -huh. All right. All right. Uh -huh. so I bank with Wells Fargo. Uh -huh. Joe, the branches in Sinko Ranch look better than any other part of Houston that I've been in. All right. That's All right. right. I said, well, what's really going on here? Yeah. All right. <laughs> better looking banks. Yeah. You go in a store. Different in these different areas, different and then walk in a store in Sinker Ranch, the same store, but the quality is better. Am I helping somebody? Yeah. Yeah. Really going on. Right. What's really going on? Right. Yeah. First off, beautiful. Oh man, I tell you, my my, my level just stepped up. Yeah. Now I'm not planning to move to Sinker Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> but it's time is always good to travel out. Yeah. yeah. Because he allows this little brain of yours yeah. to start imagining big things. Right. Yeah. If you stay in small areas, your mind stays small. Mm -hmm. But when you get in big areas, your mind gets big. I mean, I was just enjoying it. I could have driven around Sinker Ranch maybe all day. Mm -hmm. It was an awesome sight to such a joy. Abraham left Sinker Ranch. Amen. He left what he knew. Yeah. Yeah. And he was going to a place. Yeah. That he has no idea right. what's on the other side. Yeah. Listen, it's one thing for you to leave something that's bad. Uh -huh. yeah. If you're struggling uh -huh. and you're stepping to prosperity, you look back and say, bye bye. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. But if you have a good life uh -huh. and you're leaving your good life yeah. to go somewhere you don't know what to expect, yeah, yeah, yeah. then it's Amen. something else. Right. But Abraham made up in his mind. He changed his mind. Why? Daddy said, come on, Abraham. Yeah. I got some riches for you. Yeah. But the riches I have, it's not an inheritance from your daddy. Yeah. It's not tied to anything that daddy has. Yeah. What I have for you is coming directly from me. That's so right. you've got to leave daddy and mommy and everybody and come over on this side. Why? Because when you get on this side, when you look back and see all that I'm going to give you, yeah. all that I have in store for you, Mom and dad has nothing to do with it. Am I Amen. helping somebody? Amen. Amen. We shared last week that God chastises us because he loves us. Yes. Right. What is the purpose of chastisement in the life of a believer? To get us to make changes Come on, man. to our mindset. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. I shared with you last week. The chastisement that I got growing up, and I'm going into it again today. But last week I shared with you the chastisement I got. Yeah. Why did my mom and dad chastise me like that? Mm -hmm. They wanted to change yeah. my mindset. Yeah. 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 That's right. And every time, the older you get, the level of chastisement increases. Yes, it does. So when you were little babes, we'll take our little children, we have a pretty little. Sorry over the air, we'll take little Zoria and we'll just do Zoria, don't do that. Uh, and we pray she gets it. But the older that Zoria gets, the older that Jeremiah gets and Corday gets, the older they get, we can just do stop. Uh, you got to increase the discipline to go along with the age of the child. Could you imagine me telling one of these favorites when they mess up? Stop. Uh, they, they, they will look for opportunities to mess up. But God, He does the same thing with us when it comes to chastisement. The older you get, the chastisement increases when you are disobedient. Yeah, right. Am I helping somebody today? Yeah, right. And why does he chastise us? Because he loves us. Yeah. Why do I? Why did I book those five favorites? Because I love them. That's right. Yeah. And I pray mm -hmm. 
that as a result of the whooping, yeah. they learn. They learn. That's right. That's right. What I can't comprehend is that daddy chastising us. That's right. Man, he whoop us up all side our head. And we come back next week. Nice. And we go through the same thing again. So I can only conclude, we like to get whooped. That's right. That's right. That's right. I don't need no aliens. I'll alien myself. <laughs> we like to get whooped. That's right. Because if you don't like whooping, you change. Amen. Amen. We all like that. And when the chastisement increased, mm. I had to change. Come on, yeah. man. Because I didn't want these fish no longer in this body. <laughs> All right. God is saying, when are you going to learn? Amen. How much longer do I have to keep chastising you? Come on, Amen. Amen. I'm killing you. Aren't you happy in killing us? Yes. Amen. I'm so happy. He didn't kill me. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Yeah. I shared with you last week. You will never leave where you are mm -hmm. until you decide where you would rather be. Yeah. Right, 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 right. All right. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You will never leave where you are until you decide where you would rather be. Yeah. We shared last week yeah. of a husband that's whooping his wife. Uh -huh. Beat her every single day of the week. Mm -hmm. Call her every name. We did a dramatization. And I shared with you until that wife wakes up. Mm. And on, make up in her mind. Yeah. Come on now. She ain't gonna put up with that foolishness. No. Right, right, right. She gonna need two ways. Mm. Bold enough to walk out while he's there oh, yeah. or run away when he's gone. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter which way she does it. Yeah. The bottom line is she made up in her mind yeah. that she's not going to put up with this any longer. Yeah. 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 Amen. You will only, you will never leave where you are mm. until you decide. Mm -hmm. rather be. Yeah. Right, right, Philippians right. chapter 2 verse 5 It says let this mind Be in you uh -huh. Which was also In Christ Jesus yeah. What mind was in Jesus When he came to earth as a king He came in sovereignty and royalty mm -hmm. But he, he laid down His priestly robe To become what a servant Right. So he's saying to us, I know that some of you in here got Donald Trump taints and you got Oprah Winfrey taints and you know you just you just got it going on. God is saying, I know all that you got, I know everything about your background, but I'm calling you today to be what? Servants. Sir, right. Is there any servants in the house today? Yeah. 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 Your attitude should be that of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. I was in the break room last week. And we have five microwaves. And I walked in not paying attention that someone was kneeling down near one of the microwaves. Mm -hmm. So I accidentally walk up too close. And another person said, you just ain't got no manners. <laughs> you, I, I mean, the person just innocently just went off on me. Uh -huh. yeah. In the presence of five, six, seven people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Joe, I'm telling you, I was embarrassed. Oh, yeah. But not embarrassed to just walk off. Embarrassed to really mm -hmm. say, we don't shut your ghetto self up. <laughs> Amen. Amen. You want a real pastor or what? Yes. Amen. Huh? Amen. That voice spoke to me. He yeah. said, no, we don't tell that girl to just shut up your ghetto. I think that's what you have to yeah. real hoodish to me. Yeah. You just say that in the presence of five, six people, and I'm embarrassed. Yeah. Let this mind be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus. Am I helping someone? So all, all I did, all I did was I looked to the lady and said, Mom, ma'am, I'm so sorry. And I went ahead and take my food out, feeling embarrassed in five or six people, went to the table and sit down and eat my meal, eat my meal, let this mind be in you. That was right. what I said in Christ Jesus. Right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right. Every one of us have the opportunity to get out of character. Yeah. Yeah. I could have gotten out of character, man. Yeah. You calling me out? Yeah. Uh, you calling me? Man, yeah. what I tell you. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, so stay me like that. Yeah. Let this mind be in you. Yeah. Uh, that is also in Christ Jesus. Meaning what? The same way Jesus yeah. behaves. 
Uh-huh. When confrontation yeah. and opposition yeah. is the same way, I must yeah. behave. Yeah. Right. Yes. Help today. Help today. Even if you're innocent. Yeah. I know we all like to prove our innocence. Yeah. But I'm telling you, if I open my mouth, yeah. 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 Came the building would shake. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't going to tell us, but the building would shake. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know I have the power. Yeah. To make her feel this small when I'm finished with her. Yeah. 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 But God didn't want that. Yeah. Amen. God didn't want that. Amen. Let this mind. I know I'm helping somebody today. Yeah. Yeah. Let this mind. Yeah. You're on the other end of the phone. Yeah. And somebody just letting you have it. Yeah. Yeah. Calling you everything except what your mom named you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Huh? Uh-huh. Amen. And you're getting ready to what? To go back. Yeah. yeah. Right now. Go back Cause up. guess what? Mm-hmm. None of us are here in our saints. Yeah. Amen. 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 Everyone here might use one, two, three little words. Oh yeah. Amen. Amen. Some of us still make the mistakes and it comes out occasionally. Oh yeah. Amen. Come on now. It's just real. That's right. It's just real talk. Huh? <laughs> Jesus put up with it. Yeah. You, them disciples were some cursing disciples. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Come on now. Peter's mouth was as dirty as a trash can. Oh, yeah. yeah. You doubt it? Read the scripture. Yeah. yeah. Huh? The words, Read the word, man. Do your research. So it's okay. It's okay when you mess up, man, but get it right. Yeah. Make a determination. Listen, I ain't using them words no more. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I ain't using them words no more. Yeah. Come on now. I ain't packing the pistol no more. Right. Come on now, I ain't fighting and whooping nobody no more. Yeah. Come on, I ain't helping somebody. Yeah. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. We shared with you last week. Our habits decide our future. Uh-huh. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Our habits decide our future. Come on now, break it down. When you look at the text in Hebrews 12, one person is mentioned. Break it down. Tell me why the author pauses to mention Esau. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Out of everyone he could have talked about in the Bible, he zeroes in and mentions Esau. Yeah. And when you look at the text, you're able to actually see that Esau sought 